and say that we are live. Welcome everybody to yet another game board game board night, board game night on DM North TV. Um, Since I'm just waiting to press the subscribe button. Oh, <laughs> is he just hanging in the chat there, just waiting yeah. for us to go live? Thank you for the resub. I appreciate it, uh, Laurier. Um, anyway, um, I am Jordo. I am here, uh, joined as always by Kim, and we have a, a new player in the arena tonight. Um, hello, hello. This is Nerdiana Jones, is what we go by, correct? Yep. Hi. First time. Uh, <laughs> uh, long time. <laughs> um, tonight we are playing Marvel United. Uh, this is actually the... Uh, expansion the fantastic four expansion which came with the x-men united kickstarter well it didn't come with you had to buy it separate um but uh yeah it uses the uh, the x-men united core gameplay and then just adds a few things to it um so we are playing the fantastic four because i painted the fantastic four <laughs> <laughs> and i didn't want I crappy regular plastic looking things on there next has to play gambit so i can uh, i don't own gambit, gambit. I have to buy oh, yeah, the. Right. You know, I did not buy the Gambit one because it didn't interest me. Um, but, but honestly, I mean, you did a phenomenal job with the painting. It's not bad. It's not bad. Reed's a little derpy. Like you can't really see. Uh, his eyes are a little, little on the derpy side. But uh, not bad. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm happy with how they turned out. Um, Doom looks awesome. Like when we get to him, he looks real. I'm really proud of Doom. Um, Ooh, well, okay, sorry. spoilers were. Uh, <laughs> We're playing against Doctor Doom. <laughs> uh, Marvel United is a cooperative uh, game, one to four players. Is that correct? Uh, I think it's up uh, to four. I don't think you can go more than four. Um, oh, where basically yeah. your team of heroes will be facing off against a villain. Um, in this case, we are playing the Fantastic Four. Um, there's only three of us, so it will be the Fantastic Three um, versus uh, uh, Doctor Doom. I felt that was kind of relevant for uh, for the Fantastic Four. Um, so basically the way it is is the villain has a goal and in this case you can kind of see uh, did you well if you want to play it we can get we can get cards ready for you. <laughs> it might <laughs> slow things down but if you want to play that's fine. A either you need a printer or mad writing skills. Yeah you either Honestly, gotta print super fast uh, or <laughs> write super fast. <laughs> Yeah, we got the we we can get the whole fan four gone because I was we, I was thinking about my choice with um with the Human Torch and if we wanted to go with the comic accurate Fantastic Three, I would not be <laughs> my character would not be available. Let me literally let me know like right now, Laurier, and I can kind of put together a proxy thing. You'd have to kind of cut out some cards, print them up real quick. There'd be it's two. Not hard to play. All you're doing is playing cards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is an easy game to play. But I need to know, like, now. now. <laughs> Wait, delay, delay, delay. Yeah, now. the delay's on. I'm taking pictures just in case he says yes. If he says Which no. Which one? Thing? Oh, no, it's Master, Mr. Fantastic. He's going to be. You don't have a choice. <laughs> that's that's who's left. If you, don't like, <laughs> if you don't like Reed Richards, well, sucks to be you. I mean, if you want to cool him up, you can you can call him, you know, the maker and, and oh, play it all you know. Was there a maker in this game, Kim? I don't think there was. I don't think so. Oh god. Was it was it a Kickstarter exclusive character? Probably not. He's a little too obscure for the mainstream guys, I think. If you'd have sure. a prince, let's just not I don't want to go out. I mean it's up to you if you want to print it or not, or you have to It's up to it. you. Like, I will literally send you the PDF here in, like, two seconds. You don't have to print it in color. It can be black and white. It doesn't matter. It's not showing on screen or anything, so... Like I said, I'm literally getting things ready just in case you well, say While he's doing that, I can go check the Kickstarter if they actually have I don't think there was a maker. I feel... I don't think so either. And I'm making a pie. <laughs> <laughs> this is... This this is probably one of the most. Uh, yep. we're, we're known for our awkward uh, openings, but this is pretty. Uh... This, this takes the cake. <laughs> we'll edit it in post. This takes the pie. 
<laughs> oh. Okay. Right. Uh, okay, I have pictures of Reed Richards if someone wants to play Reed Richards. But someone needs to... Okay, send it to you. Okay. Uh, where are you, Reed Richards? What did I call you? I didn't call you Reed Richards. Share. Um, we are totally not making copies of this. We totally all have, uh, legal copies of this. Okay, Laurie, you're getting something in Discord. That should be a link to the Reed Richards deck. You just need to print it, cut them out, put them in a card sleeve, and then join the the chat. And in the meantime, okay. we'll go over the rules. I forgot they made a multiverse one. They did, and I backed it like an idiot. Did you? I oh. did. I, I, I Galactus and, and Sinister Six Sinister Six sold me. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. I'm at the page. Let me go quickly. Uh no, no. Okay. Feral Polaris, Strong Guy, Boom Boom, Long Shot, Dazzler, Sunspot, Magic, Firestorm. Yes, Power just those twelve Boom, cards. Sunspot. It's not a big deck. But size doesn't matter. Oh yeah, I forgot we got a dupe. Or a dupe. We have so many miniatures in this game, like, I'm never going to get around to painting them all. Nope. Not get... The Maker wasn't a bad guy, was he? Yep. Okay, let me He's basically uh, Reed Richards as a dick. Well, a bigger dick than he normally is. No, we did not. You know, we got a alternate reality shenanigans. Okay, so now I need to bump him up to nine life. Ooh, now he's gotten tougher. Uh... The tougher they are, the scarier they are. The tougher they are, the quicker they're going to kill us. Because <laughs> <laughs> that, that's exactly what's going to happen. <laughs> okay, so I don't need to boot Reed Richards. Anyway, uh, so let's quickly go over this. Uh, we'll do, a, I guess, a refresher when... Uh, um, oh, now i got to add Laurier to the Tiny Decisions as well. Add a new option. Let's see... C M one two three four seven done save oh commercial I should probably pay for actual apps not uh, not this Mickey Mouse shit um, okay we might have to refresh things for Laurie but for the people who are still with us who haven't uh, dropped off the face of the earth thank you for <laughs> hanging out with us um, so what I say it was a one to four player cooperative game where you are trying to defeat the villain. In this case, we have the Fantastic Four, and we will have all four versions, four people from the original Fantastic Four in this game versus Doctor Doom. Um, essentially, you're going to kind of be telling a story, is what they call it. They call this the storyline. So this is this giant outer ring. Now, this camera angle does not really do it justice, but this, this thing is huge. Well, I guess you can see my hand. <laughs> a regular human size hand um but yeah we're going to be kind of playing cards around the circle and the cards are going to have symbols on them and these symbols are going to let us do things and the things will be determined by the locations um when you play a card you're going to use the symbols on that card you can also use the symbols on the card directly in front of your card you know what I mean? Say that so, again. <laughs> so, okay, so you're going to play a card. You're going to use the symbols on that card. The next player after right. you is going to play a card. They're going to use the symbols on their card plus yeah. the card symbols right. on your yeah. card. Uh, the villain will be playing every three turns um, until we uh, def until we unlock one of these uh... crap. What are these called? <laughs> threats. Threats? No, these aren't threats. What are th what are these things called? There's a word for these. Uh, um, uh, progress token. Sure, we'll go with that, because I literally yeah. don't remember what that is called. Uh, I literally, in any board game, I just call it monies. I don't care what other name they have for <laughs> it. Mission guides. <laughs> Mission guides, sure. When we, yeah. when we clear one of these, the villain will act every, after every two hero cards. When we clear two of these, the villain, we can finally start damaging the villain. So we cannot damage the villain until we've cleared two of these. It doesn't matter which two. 
just two of them. Uh, if we clear all three, we get to immediately draw an extra card. So more cards is probably better. The cards okay. are what give us actions. The cards are also our life. If we never, if we end, if we don't have cards in our hand, we are knocked out. Knocked out is basically you're just out for that round. You don't get any benefits or penalties. You're just gone. And then you come back, draw four cards. Uh, if your deck ever runs out, uh, you cannot reshuffle your deck. It's it's kind of one and done. Um, if you ever empty your deck and your hand, the villain has won. So if one of us ever runs out of cards completely, we're in trouble. Um, yeah, so let's... Uh, so we're going to be basically kind of moving to different locations, doing different things, and trying to avoid Doom early on, then probably trying to attack Doom after that. Um, so... Basically, you're playing this in a circle here, so we'll be moving around to the different locations based on whatever abilities we unlock. Um, Doom will be doing things as well. His cards are all up here, so we'll find out what bad things happen. Basically, all of our cards are good for us. All of his cards are very bad for us. <laughs> uh, each of the locations have different abilities. The abilities are currently blocked because of these threat cards. So all of these have have threats on them, so each of these cards are a different threat. We'll go over those in just a second. Um, except Latveria, where uh, Dr. Doom starts. If you end your turn there, you must do something. I can't read it upside down, so pardon me. Um, at the end of turn, you must take one damage for each uh, thug or doom bot in this location. I see. Um, and each of the locations has starting things. So uh, these are civilians, these little blue symbols, guys. These are obviously Doom bots. Thugs are just dudes with little masks on them. Um, in this game, basically, we use Doom bots for thugs until we run out of Doom bots. Do you want to like turn that card so it's easier for you to read? No. I was thinking on on the side here. I wonder how much people would pay for like a lazy Susan for this game. Literally, that is my plan. After this, I actually I have a piece of a uh, cardboard or chloroplast. That's big enough to support this, so I just got to find a lazy Susan to. Oh, that's fantastic! Yep. So it's that's it's in the go. works. I just didn't have time to pull it off today, because I I just started looking. For, I got the problem is I got to find like a wheel that's big enough, like a little one will be unbalanced. I need to find something yeah. wide enough. So like literally, what if you if you like you if you were to buy like a regular lazy Susan instead of using the bottom plate, use the use that what would be referred to as the top plate as the bottom plate for this thing. Yeah, probably would be the way to go. Sorry. Yeah, so I've got it's if if this becomes a thing, I'm for sure it's going it's going to become a lazy season <laughs> in the future because this is ridiculous. This is going to be awkward. You're going to see more of my head than ever showing up in any stream. Um, You're blocking your big head's blocking us. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So my goal, as you can see, I've got uh, the Fantastic Four on the screen here. Um, well, the screen up uh, there. There we go. Um, I'm going to try to move the camera around as we go to the different areas. It may work. It might become a pain in the ass. We will see what happens. <laughs> um, but yeah, so basically you're going to play a card. You're going to do whatever you do. As we move around, we'll be able to fight thugs, save civilians. Whatever. Okay. okay? Um, so right now, like I said, these are all under threat because Dr. Doom is a, is a jerk. Uh, I'm going to get Kim to actually tell us what happens at each of these things. So if you ever end your turn in one of these spots, um, something can happen to you. So in this one here, it says at the end of turn, you're going to take damage. Uh, these ones, I don't believe you actually take damage. But uh, Kim, can you tell me what additional armor, which is right here, what happens there? Doom bot in this and adjacent locations requires two damage to be defeated. Okay, so that's important because thugs, which are these guys, I'll put them on the screen here. Uh, those guys take one damage, so one fist to to kill. Doom bots right now will take two damage to kill. And only uh, fists are only damage, correct? So yeah, you'll need two fists. So you'll need a you need a good way to do that. Uh, what is the self destruct? Okay, that is at the uh, X jet. Oh, that's each. Uh, okay, so each thug needs two punches to take out. Each Doom bot. And Doom bots okay. are Doom bots are thugs until we run out of Doom bots. So there's there's a bunch okay. of Doom bots here. Um, so that's at the X jet. 
Um, over here at Mount uh, Wundergore, uh, we've got the self-destruct protocols. What is that? When a Doombot is defeated in this or adjacent locations, each hero in this location takes one damage. Okay. Ooh. That's not good. Um, we'll come to the Baxter building at the end. We're in Muir Island, we've got auto assembly. When adding a when adding Doombot in this and adjacent locations, add one extra Doombot there. Okay. You'll notice, we'll mention this now, you'll notice each space has a set number of spaces to put things. Um, when we start to overflow, bad things will happen. We'll talk about overflow when we get to the villain here. But we don't want to overflow. We do want to control how many people are in here. Um, how about at 4 Yancey Street, we've got additional armor. Oh, we already did that one. Yeah. So there's two there of those. Two, two of each and then only one auto assembly. Okay. In the Baxter building, we have the self-destruct protocols. We did that one. No, we did we do that one? Yeah. No, we, we didn't do. Oh, we did, oh, there's two of those yeah. too. Yeah, there's two of those, two of additional armor and one auto assembly. Okay. Wait, that's six? Why do I only have five? There's only five. In oh. the in Doctor Dooms, there's only five. I had actually had to look it up on uh on board game geek i'm going i'm missing a card there's supposed to be six and then if you actually read the setup plan it says there's only five don't put <laughs> don't put one on latveria so yeah. as you see on latveria at the end of turn bad things happen when we clear these good things will happen so for instance on mount windergate at the end of turn okay that was a bad example <laughs> bad things over there okay over here end of turn <laughs> He may place one star token from the pool in this location. This token acts as a permanent extra slot for things. Okay. So by, by clearing the threat, we're going to unlock the actual ability of the location. Um, to clear so, a threat, we have to... Okay, to clear a threat... Star token yes, you're going to put the star token. So each of these things takes three star tokens to defeat. Okay. Um, so this and is I'm actually... There's not much... Watch. There's much not much things going on here. So star tokens can be used for this... Or you can rescue a civilian with it. Right. Uh, punches are what is used to uh, kill the thugs and the doom bots. Um, there's movement symbols. So these guys here. Uh, these are like these will let you move one space in either direction. And then there is this symbol here, which is a wild symbol. That can be anything you want it to be. So depending what you what you need it. Um, with the fant. We can't overflow stuff. Right? We want no, no, overflowing is bad. We we don't want yeah. that. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, so like here, well, actually, most of them. There's only two spaces open, so we, we got to watch it. But then there's here that opens up. Uh, like extra things get added quickly, so we probably want to deal with that as fast as possible. Um, Doom for the most part is probably going to be moving clockwise, um, but the card will tell us which direction to move him. Um, we don't want to end up in the same space as him. Um, so let's go over what we know about Dr. Doom. So Dr. Doom, in a four-player game, he has nine health. So whenever uh, Laurier shows up, that's that's going to be the case. I'm here. Oh, there you I'm are. I'm here. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, my printer is being a butt, so I actually just printed numbers one through 12, and I'll be referring you with your PDF. Oh, okay, so perfect. I don't know which part that is. Um, so shuffle, you, you'll start with... You're going to start with... Uh, three cards in your hand. One of them, though, will be uh, plasticity. Plasticity. So that's it, number that's seven. There you go. Oh, uh, yeah. So that's in your hand. Then draw two more, and then, then we'll get to the other stuff. Um, special rules. As long as there are Doom bots in Doom's location, he can't be damaged. Once per turn, a hero can forfeit one action to discard one of their crisis tokens. Uh, heroes cannot affect the master plan deck in any way. What are crisis tokens? Are those, those are these things, right? I'm guessing. Oh, the exclamation marks that you didn't know? Yeah, that I don't have. I don't see anything that puts exclamation points on there, but maybe something shows up that does them. Um, the overflow effect, if uh, any of those things can't be added to a location, increase the doom track by one for each token you couldn't add. Um, once the token, once the doom track gets to twenty, we lose. Yeah, uh, the are crisis tokens. Okay, so right now there are no crisis tokens in effect, which is cool. Um, 
the BAM effect that will trigger when the Doom's cards tell us to, um, or if one of us is KO'd. You deal one damage to each hero in Doom's location, plus one damage to each hero in locations with Doom bots. Then increase the Doom track by two. So BAMs uh, are bad. And as those are on cards of his. On cards of his, and sometimes they'll show up on these cards, but not in Doom's case. I think he's got enough Doom bots that we're, we're in trouble as it is. We, we gotta deal with those guys. We gotta hit, hit, hit. Um, so... Uh, did you catch most of that, Laurier? Like, I don't know where you when you jumped in. I caught some of that. I was running back and forth. Okay. But uh, I'll, so, I'll uh, kind of wing it. So yeah, at the beginning of your turn, you're going to draw a card, then you're going to play a card, resolve your actions... Uh, resolve any special effects in your cards, and then set, spend any action tokens that you've gained for whatever reason. Uh, then there might be a location effect to resolve. Um, yeah, that's about it. So actually, this is a cooperative game, so we can probably pick who goes first, right? So we figured out that Johnny yeah. Storm is kind of our puncher. Uh, Kim and I is... seem also pretty mobile, too. Yeah, Kim is going to be our... Uh, what are you? What can you do? Move a lot, or no? I I have a bunch of moves. A bunch of oh, moves. your team works are moves and stuff. Um, yeah, some punches, not much. I might have to rely on. Like I'm, I think I'm assuming I'm a puncher, but I can also reduce damage to myself. And then I'm. I don't know what Reed Richards can do. What can you do? Be the Move. village idiot because oh, I know lots about of the team. lots of wild cards actually. Okay. So I'm thinking mobility may not be a bad thing in the beginning. Like, what do you guys want to do? Do you guys want to do randomized or? So or... for for whoever goes first, let's randomize it. But I'm uh, what I'm more curious about is what objective do you guys want to tackle on well, first? You know what? Why don't we see what Doom's going to do to us first? Because he's, he's going first. And then we first, can yeah. then we can decide. So sorry for everyone who's seeing my head right now. So the card is Doctor Doom. He's going to move four. That's great. Okay, cool. Um, so he's going to move four clockwise. So he's going to go one, two, three, four. Uh, the BAM effect is going to go off. So deal one damage to each hero in Doom's location. There's nobody there. Plus one damage to each hero in locations with a Doom bot. We are actually good right now. So that doesn't Oof. do anything. Um, then increase the Doom track by two. So we will do that. Already? Already. We're already behind the eight ball. Um, and then we need to add a Doombot to the location he is in. Not good. And we add a Thug to each adjacent location. What tracks his health? Uh, it's in the middle there. So he, he has nine health for a four-player oh. game. Uh, could you imagine Doom strolling around the Yancy Street? Yeah, he just shows up. He's just, he's just trying. Yeah, just right. Okay. But we can't hit, the, we can't hit him. We cannot hit him until off. we've cleared two of these. Oh. So oh. we need to decide who wants to go first. Can you just sorry, one thugs, one's uh civilians, what's the what's that? What's the last one? Oh, clear threats. So by removing oh. okay. we only need to clear like four threats, even though there's five. Okay. Okay, so I'll go first just uh so you know, I'm the scout thematically makes sense for the team so i'm thinking of either going to um so you draw a card visit. first yep i drew a card okay uh so i'm at uh, my hand is at four currently okay uh and um i'm thinking personally either to go to visit moira mctaggart or go to mount wandergore do you have the movement to do that though i certainly do okay um, um I think Doom bots are well. I guess what can you do oh. later is the question. Like, oh wait, is it one movement, one space, right? Yes, yes. Each each uh, okay. each card. Okay. Well, so so if you've I... got if you've got two of these symbols, then you can move twice on the card. Okay. So you're so you're actually me... a little bit behind other people because you can only the first player is gonna basically have the disadvantages. They don't have a backup card to play off of. Which is fine, because okay. um, um, I have okay. So I have two cards basically that I can play this turn. It's a move punch or a move star. So, um, so Doombots yeah. are 
take two right now, so one punch isn't going to help us. Okay, but uh, I can save maybe the um, the uh, what is it the civilian or uh, put a star on like the track so like we can flip that bottom card. I don't know what's more important. Um, <laughs> like okay, I know morally what's important, but are big punchers. I assume I'm going to be a puncher just because I'm the yeah. thing. The problem is I need to. I don't have a lot of movement in my hand right now. Like I have none. You need help from pro previous person, which probably would be me if I'm moving a lot. Because yeah, I'm fine. Move. Yeah, that's why I was like, I'm fine going first too, because like my character clearly moves a lot. So, so maybe we probably want to reduce. My my guess is we probably want to reduce. Like this thing's gonna be adding Doombot super fast. We need right? somebody to be punching and clearing and. If if I can get movement, I can punch like. I'm not worried about that. Somebody but it's just a question of where do we start? Like, I think I think starting-wise, yeah. we want to start... I Personally, I would start trying to reduce these threats. Um, okay. So, so do you want to confront, like, Doom on the tile he's on, or do you want to kind of start away from him? We can't... Well, we um, can't fight him. No, so we don't okay. want to be... We want to be nowhere near him. We want to avoid okay, so him. And we want, easy. So the problem is, like, if you go here, you're kind of in his path. I mean, he moved four that G. first time. Yeah. But I mean, bottom okay. line, eventually he's going to get us, right? Like, <laughs> no worries. Um, so if that's the case, yeah, because uh, this is my first time playing, so I'm kind of winging it too. Like, I know the basic rules, but we'll see in practice. So I have a card that's a move and a star. So I'm going to move to Mount Wondragor, and I will okay. um, move Good. the track. So you are here. And then you are going to put your star on there. Yeah, plus it's a very annoying tile that it does damage to everyone like next to each other. We should, yeah, we need to dis uh, dismantle that. Oh, wait, were we supposed to... Oh, no, okay, that doesn't do anything, that doesn't add anything. Because I thought the location effect... No, when does that trigger? Shit. That happens when, when adding a Doombot in this and adjacent space and add one extra. May resolve visible end of turn effects. There were no end of turn effects. Okay, we're fine. It looks like all of his cards kind of just make the Doombots worse. Okay, so Johnny's done. You gotta yep. put his card up there. What's that? Oh, yes, I need to put... Oh, sorry, shoot. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, uh, punch in a star. I mean, a uh, move in a star. Move in a star. Too bad these don't have names. Yes, but... that would be helpful. I forgot I actually have to do stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, move in a star. Okay, um... Let's go next. I don't know. I've... Right now, I have a lot of move in my hand. I have no movement right now. But I have punches. Well, now you have a movement. I'm doing. Well, that, that's just it. Like, we've got to move in a star so we can, we can like, start... So hammering. if you have no movement cards, you should take advantage of the movement that's up there. Like, we should, you know... So I don't know how useful that is, but I have uh, what I think is a double wild card of some kind. That's oh, the, that's two yeah, of this symbol, right? You, I uh, messaged you the um, reference for your help for help. Yeah, that that's exactly it, Jordo. Yeah, so that's a good one. So people could do whatever the hell they need to with that card. So I could with that. I could uh, if I have another way to move. I could actually neutralize that self destruct protocol right away. Well, the movement, you would actually get it. So, I don't know if you were here for that part. So, the next person to play is going to get their symbols plus the previous symbols. Okay. So, whoever plays next gets a movement and a star plus whatever they're doing. And it can be in any order or it has to follow the order of the cards? No, any order. You just basically, you're getting those symbols to use. Yeah, okay. But you can do but it in any order. In any order. So, if you wanted to use the stars here before you leave, you could. Right. Which actually... End of turn, draw one card. If your hero has been given, has been a member of the Fantastic Four, you may gain... Oh, shit. Maybe you do want to clear out this one right away. The Baxter building's good. Yeah, I could just clear it this turn. And then move somewhere. Because I could just use the star that's already there, plus two. I think, yeah, I'm 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 game for Reed Richards going next, then. Okay. That, that's a good call. Okay, so I need to draw a card first? Yeah, draw yeah. a card first. And I am drawing, what's number one? 
a movement and a star. Okay, I'm going to use the double wild card though because we need to okay. clear. So you're the three, there, right? So... We're going to go back over here. Uh, hang on. So I need to draw to draw a card. I play a card. So now and I can resolve I... any number of actions. Yeah. Is that so it? I'm hoping you can see the symbols on the screen there, but if not, I'll help uh... you out. <laughs> not great size because i also try to have the rules okay um so basically you've got two wilds and you've got a uh movement and a star yeah so, so i use that i use that double wild card by the way so you've added it to storyline okay good yeah. yeah all right so then okay so i will use the, those two wilds as uh, stars plus the star that's already there to clear this to clear out the baxter yes. building Okay, so we have actually cleared a threat now. So that goes on there. So now, at the end of your turn, you will draw one card, and if your hero has ever been a member of the Fantastic Four, you're going to gain a token. A token is basically a one-time use symbol. So, but you have to end your turn there. Yes, you have to end your turn there. So you're not going to get that. You have to now move somewhere. You, you have to use your symbols. You can't just say, oh, I'm not, I'm not going to move now. Okay, so I I can't just stay there. No, the the movement has to happen. I thought you said that there could be tokens we save for a following turn. Yeah, in this oh. case, like if you end your turn here, you're going to get a token. Yeah, but you can't end your turn yeah, here. You have to move. You have to use all symbols in the cards. Yeah, so there's no way you're going to get the benefit of it. Okay, so I guess I'm going to move to Mount Wonder. Go uh... Wonder going wherever Johnny Storm is. You're going to go join Johnny? Okay. Yeah, because I don't want to go to where Doom is. Okay, so I feel I should kind of go in between the two, the happy couple. Right? Yeah, go ahead. Um, technically, you can end that next one with the stars, because you have two wilds. I still don't... Oh, I got to draw a card first, though. Okay. And, like, you can By the way, this plasticity two. one, I guess I should probably be using that one next turn, eh? Yeah, I feel I need to get my good one out as fast as possible. Because plasticity it's... says I that as long as this card is face up on the storyline during your hero turn, you may use one of your star or punch actions in that ad adjacent location. Oh shoot! Yeah, you should play that as fast as you can. Okay, so yeah, I've got I... basically all punches and one star. I you should probably use Reed Richards to two stars. Finish that and punch out the. Uh, oh, no, cause no, because no, each hero in this location must discard all cards in their hand. Yeah, we don't want to end our turn there. We want we want this one to be able to kind of drop the stars and then get the hell out. Okay. Because that's going to burn your cards a lot faster. That sounds good. I don't want that. Um, but can you punch the dog? I could punch here? this little dude, but it doesn't do much, right? Or I can... Okay, if I have access to two wilds, I could move into here with Doom. Because Doom's going to activate. Like, he's going to move before he... Oh no, would his villain effect go off? No, that's only when he does things. In theory, he's going to move away from there, right? We don't know that. Because <laughs> I, 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 I have three symbols to use. So I could punch this guy and then just save those two. That's, that feels like a waste of wilds. Or I could use one of those wilds as a as a move to go here, punch twice to clear out a Doom bot. And then can you move? You don't want to be on the same term as Doom. Uh, same title as Doom, don't well, you? Well, I'm gambling that Doom won't be there by the time he goes again. So use it as... Oh, yeah. You, oh, I see what you mean. You're thinking he's going to move. I'm thinking he's going to move. I don't know he's going to move. But what's better? Just... Well, actually, if I do this here, I'm going to get a token. Maybe or that... draw a card. E either or. No, you're drawing one card, no matter what. No, no, and... it's draw one card if your hero has ever been... A... No, draw, draw one card, period. Instead. Oh, instead. I like the tokens. Yeah. Um... Are you guys okay if I do that? Is that a good use of me, or am I better to do something else? I, f I think it's a, I think it's fine. 
Are we but okay I, with Then that? again, I've never played this game before, so... Okay, <laughs> okay so I'm going to use my rock-like skin. So at... Overflow, so you just be careful with this location, because we don't want to overflow in this location. No, well, this is going to clear this whole location out, right? Is that what you're doing? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, so as long as this card is in the lineup, is face up in the lineup, the storyline, you may ignore one damage during each villain turn. Okay, so I'm going to use my punch to punch this guy. He's just a thug. I'm going to use the two wilds as stars to save these guys. That was the civilian. And then that's the end of my turn. And I am going to, instead of drawing a card, I'm going to just take a movement symbol because I am lacking movement, it feels like. So next turn or in a future turn, I can cash that in on top of everything else. Um, that's good. Now the bad happens before Sue gets to go. Oh, really? It's every three? It's every three. Uh, thanks for the sub, Mike. Oh, did I miss Mike? Dr. Doom! This is my country, my home. Move to Latveria. Um, the BAM effect goes off. Uh-oh. Okay. Uh, deal one damage to each hero in Doom's location. Not a problem. Plus one damage to each hero in locations with any Doom bots. So both Johnny Storm and uh, Reed Richards will take one damage. So that's toss a card. Toss a card. Okay. Toss to the bottom of the deck, right? No. Uh, yes. From the, no. And I choose which? I think it's to the bottom of the deck. No, because you, once your deck runs out, the game's over. I don't think you read Yeah, no. Like hero it. damage. Discard one card from your hand to the bottom of your deck per damage oh. suffered. Okay. Okay. Um, that's good. So then... Okay, that's not bad. Yeah, so, I should I be discarding a card that does movement and star, or punch and star? Um, those are both good. I, at this point in time, honestly, I don't know. I'm going to add the Doom bots anyway here. So we got one Doom bot there. I, I feel I need the movement because I don't know if I'll want to stay where I am right now. So I'll just do the. Uh, I'll put the punch star to the bottom. We got the Doom bot there and the Doom bot there. Hang on a second. Nice. When adding Doom bots in this and adjacent locations, add one extra Doom bot there. So that's effective right now. That's a problem. So we already have overflow in, um, what is in, it? In here. Ireland. What is that? So basically, uh, Latveria is full of Doom bots. We have an overflow at Mirror Island. And the overflow, if you can't add, increase the Doom track by one for each token you couldn't add. So, wait, we got to finish the... The BAM effect, we did that, so then I gotta increase the weight two. We're currently at what are we at? We were at two, now so we're at four. four plus whatever we're gonna add. Five. There was only one overflow. Okay. So we were, had space there. So I think so where did the overflow come from? His card? Here. So basically when I added a Doom bot here, this oh. card is saying when you add something here or an adjacent location, add an extra one. So we added a Doom bot here and here. There was space for a second one here. There was no more room here. Oh, okay. right. So essentially, um, we got to deal with that. <laughs> I think this threat is probably our biggest problem on the board right now. Uh, can I even move there? So yeah, now it's uh, Invisible Woman's turn. All right. You deal my hand. Oh my gosh. I have a lot of movements, but not much. So do I get to use your card, which has a punch? Yes, you get the punch. Um, okay. Okay, so... Is there any... like? There's going to be cards, uh, teamwork cards showing up. Um, again, I don't yeah. know if you were there, Laurier, but the teamwork cards are going to add tokens to the Fantastic Four card. And then when you play your team-up cards, you're going to get to use those tokens. Like, they're basically free extra tokens. That oh, don't get, nice. That don't get used up, is sort of what I understand. They're like perpetual? Okay. Yeah. So the first person um, to play there with teamwork is going to have uh, nothing. 
Yeah. The second person will have one extra symbol. Then the third person will have two extra symbols. And yada yada. I can't get there. No. Um, well, try and get, like, remember that the movement speeds, like, you know, bolster your, your teammates too. So maybe I can get there with, like, extra movement and something. So, oh, yeah. If you've got movement that can help someone. Because Johnny Storm will go after you. So maybe you two want to kind of... Two cards with one movement, one of which has a teamwork, which does nothing right now. But, but I, I think that's to... that's not bad to get it. Yeah, and then I have another one that has a move and a punch. Oh, so you'll have a move and two punches. Yes, so I can move left, whatever that city name is. And you can then... go to Yancey Street and get rid of the Doombot. Right, I could do that. Oh. I'm giving someone a move and a punch next turn. How do we feel about that? I'm for it. I'm I'm good with it. Like I feel it's it's the I best use of the symbols, right? Is punch and move move punch. Okay, so you're going to Yancey Street. Oh my goodness. What is what is our plan for dealing eventually with Doom? Um when we can start damage we can't damage him until we've got um we gotta clear out two of these, right? Yeah. So we've got to do these other things. Okay. But we've got to, like, our crisis right now is is up here in the Latveria Muir Island portion of the map. Okay. So we're, like, at the wrong end of the map for what we need to do. Yeah. So I think this is a good use of, uh, of Invisible Wall. Oh, shoot. Which one did you use? <laughs> uh, the Move and Punch. Move and Punch. Okay. I love so it. You're kind of like a weatherman. There's a general shitstorm going on here in Latveria and Muir Islands. Like... And see, Mike, Mike's saying, don't worry about the big guy yet. We're not concerned about, about Doom yet. Okay. Um, there we go. Um, so you're going to two-punch the Doom, the Doom bot, who yep. is fine. He goes there. And then... Oh, no, he didn't save him. That's it. Yep. That's good. That's good. Johnny Storm is up. Oh, let's fly okay. over. So I, um, yep, let's do that. So Oops. with move and punch, I'm going to combo with the same one. I'm also going to move and punch. I'm getting out of here. Uh, but I can punch and then move, I'm assuming. but um, um, You have to use two punches to kill the Doombot, remember? Yep, no, I'm going to, because I also have, the card I'm going to play is also a move and a punch. Oh, okay. So I'll have two moves and two punches. So okay. it's like, I punch the Doom bot. No, I'm going to move first and then punch. So I'm going to move uh, over to where... Where are you moving to? Latveria? Yeah, I'm going to move over to Latveria. So at um, the end of your turn, punch... once you're... Here, let's yeah. just go over what happens at Latveria. End of turn, you must take one damage for each Doom bot thug in this location. So you're going to take... Even if you kill one, you're going to take four damage. Oh my gosh, that's your... You're gonna um... <laughs> oh yeah, that's not it. That's not worth it. Okay, so I think I think punching uh, out the Doombot that's here is not the worst plan in the world, and then flying. Yeah, but you'd take damage because there's self destruct, right? No, 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 no. It's basically the self destruct is basically saying, "Oh, you yep. know what? You can move well, to you me. know what? Move to me. You can do your double punches and move to my location." I um, actually have a better idea yes, for dealing with okay. this particular Doombot. But... Okay. You just need to clear out the one the the other another location on the side of it. Oh, uh, repeat that. I'm sorry. Okay, my I have a plan. Hey, I want Donnie. to use plasticity when it's my turn, so that I can yes. then use an attack token to uh, like on the um, mount whatever and take on out the, the thing, so that the self destruct doesn't do anything because I, we won't be in this location. Oh, so you wanted uh, to punch something else. So yeah. I can, would alternately, instead of even moving and doing that, I also could just, well, uh, I have a, um, I could just play a wild. Like, I have, like, a singular wild card. So okay. what I would do with that is um, save the, you know, uh, rescue the civilian, and then move, and then the punch will just be wasted. I'll move to the Baxter building and then end my location there and get boosted for next turn. Okay, so you're playing this card, the Human Torch, just single... Yep, the single, single wild. Okay. Yep. Yeah, and also you're going to get a token out of that, eh? That's not a bad plan. Yeah. So um, then you're yep. going to move. They went through all that effort to put their 
Well, what else are you going to do? Well, oh, you said you're going to so, save. Uh, That's right. You said you're going to save this guy first, right? Save civilian first, then move. So yep, then save move. civilian, move, and then the punch is wasted. But when it's wasted, does that mean it carries over? No, I think it's just gone. I'm just double checking here. Because alternatively, you could just move up to that other location. And could you punch out the... Uh, oh, no, it's got additional armor. Never mind. Uh, okay. Yeah, he needs... Well, he could... Okay, we could... Let's back it up here. No, wait, that guy was here. Okay. So, yeah, if you've got so gonna... three symbols, you got to move a punch and whatever. You could move over to to uh, the X-Jet, punch out the Doombot... Except it's got additional armor, so it doesn't work. No, he's got two punches. Oh, he's got two punches. He's got he's no, got no, wild. no. Um, but a wild is just one action, right? Right, right. But I oh, mean, but if... I, oh, I see what you're saying. Instead of using it as a star, move into punch, and uh, yeah, I could do that too. And that because you said if you go, you're going to go to the X Jet afterwards or the Baxter Building, then you're going to kill this Doombot, right? All um... right. I mean, I. Hang on, my plasticity only gives me one wild, though. That's the thing. And do I have any other tokens that I automatically have on my turn, or...? Nope. What you got is what... You'll, you'll have whatever's... Well, you'll have the wild token. From... Because yeah. you go after him. Okay. So that's... that's Whatever card he plays, you're going to have access to. Okay. So... Um, I'd rather get the token because, like, my character is, uh, like, he's very weak on his own when it comes to punching. Okay. Um, so, so uh, I'd rather have uh, Ed with the punch token. Yeah, save, uh, to progress one of those anyway. Um, okay. and I, I can move around the next turn and, and get, like, the jet because it's not, uh, it's not overflowing yet and it's not in danger of doing so. It looks there like. is no saving tokens, right, Kim? Like, if he's not using this punch, he doesn't like save it till next turn, does no, he? No, no. I mean, I mean, because I'm ending my location at the Baxter building, I get, um, I obtain a. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, no, no, I knew that. It's just, I'm just yeah. making sure that we're not screwing up and screwing you out of an extra token. No, oh, I uh, think you oh, I see what you're saying. But I'll look. Yeah, I'll double check. Unless uh, Mike chimes in and says that we're wrong. I'm pretty sure yeah. you don't get to save them. Like, I'm pretty confident that's the case. It but makes I... sense, but, like, uh, yeah, it doesn't hurt to double-check. Because, yeah, if you could save an extra fist, that's not a bad plan. Because that would be... Because you saved, that was a star move, so, yeah, you'd have a fist left over. But I feel... Yeah. My gut says you can't. Because it would say on the, on the rules summary, too, like, take a token for anything you don't. You, it doesn't say anything, but I don't think you can stack it because that seems too easy. Yeah. Okay. I think that's, that's... no problem. Yeah. I'm 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 fine with that. Okay. And then you ended your turn. You took a fist token. Is that right? Yep. I certainly did. Okay. So Reed Richards, we're still on your space there. What would you like to do? Okay. Well, first of all, I'd like to draw a card. <laughs> that would be a good plan. Yes. Okay. And that is number ten. What's number ten? Oh, I've got a teamwork card. Hmm. So I get a wild plus whatever I get out of my card, right? Yes. Yeah, you... Oh, that's the human torch. Jeez. Yeah, you have the human torch's wild symbol plus whatever you want to do. Plus whatever I get out of my card. Ooh. So what would be more helpful? A teamwork card or my plasticity card? I think plasticity is better. For what yeah, like teamwork to... is only going to work if we have teamwork cards, but it does get a wild symbol onto that card, which is not bad. Yeah, so I think what I'm going to do, I could what? do the teamwork. No, no, I don't have the, that teamwork card. I have the movement teamwork card. Oh, whoops. Okay, sorry. Spoilers. <laughs> I think plasticity is probably better for us, especially with like a bomb location like this. Yeah. So uh, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to use then plasticity as my card. Okay. And now that means that I'll be able once per turn to use one of my star or punches on an adjacent location, which is going to be very handy. I so now I have two wilds to use. Yes, but I you will, won't be able I to punch. Use... You won't be able to punch out the Doombot this turn. Um, the Doombot that is in Mount Vondervor, yes, I will, because I can use one of the wilds to move to Max Baxter Building and then use Plasticity to punch out. He needs two punches. Uh, that the one that's in that place does not have additional armor in my current location. 
Oh, it's just in that location. Right here. Oh, the, yeah. The one in the bomb, okay? I'm going to yeah. punch out the one in the bomb. Okay, yeah, sorry. My mistake. So oh, in this and adjacent locations. No, he does have additional armor. Because additional armor is also okay. up here. The mount, the, the place where I currently am. No, 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 but this one here says all do bots in this location and adjacent locations. and adjacent locations. So he has, oh. he takes two to hit. So yeah, he's going to be a little bit harder to hit. But I mean, you could just straight up punch him and just get rid of him. Uh, I can use one action on an adjacent location. I don't know if I can use both. No, 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 no. But I mean, you could use your two wild symbols just as punches right here. Just regular. Then I would take damage. And we would take oh, damage right. too. The thing and, and uh, the torch. Oh, that's right. Adjacent locations. Yeah, we don't want to kill that guy. Yeah. Uh, the, oh, yeah. Uh, you don't want to even kill him. Damage. Well, yeah, I guess. Honestly, I would say try to start, like, finish the location and then uh, move away, you know? So put, like, one star in there and then. Because what happens again? Yeah. Um, each hero in this location must discard all cards in their hand and draw the same amount of cards. Eek. Yeah, that's going to suck. That's not terrible. You mill through your card. Oh, uh, no, that, oh, but yeah, I think, those, I think these oh. are discarded. I don't think they're put back. Oh, fair. fair. Uh, yeah. yeah. I don't know. Okay. I don't. Anyway, I don't know what this game is very much. So, what would be the right move here? Um, you could I'd go to additional Star armor. Move. Oh, wait, you can only use one of your um, in adjacent locations. Okay. Because I have another thing I could do. I don't yeah. know how much help that is. I could rescue, I could use one of the wilds as a rescue to rescue yeah. the adjacent, the civilian on that uh, place with additional armor. And then and that, I could move to Baxter building. Yeah. I mean, I think this side of the map is, like, we've got it under control. Taking off that civilian is just going to add another one here, which is good. For part, is that I don't hate that plan, because then it gets you a token as well. Yeah, that I can use on... Uh, uh, let's see, I just need to decide which one I'd want. Is that... Which, if, am, I think am, I, am I moving the camera that way? Is that what's happening? Are you joining yeah. us over here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to save the civilian adjacent. Using and plasticity. Then, yeah, using the plasticity effect. And, then and gonna... I will uh, move over to the Baxter building. And then you can draw a card or take a symbol. I'll take a symbol. I will take a... I will take a uh, movement token. Okay. Uh, Doom is going to do stuff now. Yay, Doom. Yay, Doom. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully I didn't screw anyone. Doom, over. he's going to move five clockwise. One, two, three, four, five. No, it's my space. Uh, he's going to activate the BAM effect. Deal one damage to each hero in Doom's location. Nothing. And plus Wait. Doom box. Yay. Nothing. We're good there. Um, then increase the Doom track by two. We are at... What are oh. we at? Five, so we're at seven. Yeah, we're in trouble, guys. <laughs> you must surrender, Richards. Each hero chooses to either discard one card from their hand to the bottom of their deck or take one crisis token. Shit, what are crisis tokens going to do? Uh, uh, I'm going to do the card tucked under uh, the deck. Because okay. I feel like if you take enough damage, you like you know you'll lose a turn, but then you'll have a full hand back, which is fun, you know. Okay, but we're also we gotta. Oh, this is this is. Oh no, that's oh, yeah. okay. Hang on, hang on, hang on. That's good. Okay. Two there, one there. We're gonna overflow on that side. Uh, increase the doom track by one. We're at eight now. Is that right? Yep. Cool. Used by certain villains to represent their various influences simply use them as described by the text on the cards and dashboards <sighs> are there symbols on them? i'm gonna gamble because i don't know what they do so i'm taking a crisis Some token them will tell players how crisis enters play and others what adverse effects it causes there's nothing on his sheet 
but I imagine there's a card that says like deal damage based on how many crisis tokens if you, you have. have a crisis token. Maybe. I'm willing to. I'm gonna gamble. I'm keeping my cards. Hang Sorry, on. What was Let me thing? see. Okay. Discard a card or or take, take a crisis, crisis token. token. But you're you're discarding it to the bottom of your deck. You're not losing it. Yeah. It cannot be that bad. That's right. That's right, Donnie. <laughs> how bad can it be? Take the crisis token. Get a crisis token. <laughs> Okay, all you need to know about... Okay, so I'm looking on Board Game Geek. There's an ex a quick explanation. All you need to know is that they are bad rules for the villains. Explain how bad and, ex and what you need to do with them to win. Uh, uh, Nerdy Anna Jones, you're muted. I don't know if it's on purpose. It was. I'm back. I'm here. Okay. I'm, I've been I'm, I'm, still, I'm still taking the crisis token because I can reduce damage by one. So I'm good. No, I'm still going to do the card under the... Um... Yep. I'm I'm gonna do the same. I'm gonna take a. I'm gonna put a card. On. Oh no 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 no! I cannot do a card because the two cards I have in hand, I really need to. Uh, actually, hang on. Yeah. So the one I used was my plasticity. So yeah, I'll, I'll put a card at the bottom. Okay. Okay. So have we all done whatever it is we're doing? Indeed. Okay, so I need to shoot. I got a wild to use. Uh, oh, wait, I've got my movement token. Because I want to get over to where Buddy Boy is and start dealing with... Um... When you start we... saving some civilians in Yancey Street? I can't save anybody. Oh, I got one symbol, but I feel... Okay, I've got two cards with two punches each. I feel I'm better off Ooh. smacking Doombots. Fair, yeah. So I could use the Wild that saw in Plasticity plus my movement token to get over to the X-Jet and punch out that Doombot, then I can just set myself up for stuff later. No, Careful, that sounds perfect. because you triggered a self-destruct. Uh, self oh, adjacent location. Space. Oh, it takes one damage, but let me read that again. Uh, as long as this card is face up in the start in the storyline, you may ignore one damage during each villain turn. That's not a villain turn. Hmm. 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 If I were you, I would actually move the other way to where Doom is currently, and start dealing with that, the there so that we don't have as much overflow. So punch out the Doom bot there, probably. Because I got... It's going to take your wild plus my movement token to get there. Then you got and, two punches. You can take out the thug and the doombot, right? Uh, no, I got two punches. So I can take out the doombot because there's additional armor right here. So that doombot oh. takes two. Which is Which fine. Which doombots take one damage? Which locations only take one damage? Latveria. Okay. But I can't get to Latveria. Wait a minute, I could actually use a wild myself and just get to Latveria. You must take one damage for each... Oh no, then I'm taking five damage. No, we're not doing that. That's a bad move. I can get to Doom's location and just start dealing with that crap. So be it, right? I guess. Does that make sense, guys? Is that what um, we're doing? Uh... Sure. Okay. Don't look at me. So I'm going to use my, my movement token plus the wild to move two spaces. So I'm going to go one, two. I'm going to then use my two punches to punch out the doom bot. And the villain does, he doesn't activate till his turn. If you're in his space, bad things happen, right? But you're not going to have a chance to move before, but then he's, uh, does he move before he Yes. Does an action or does okay? Well, it depends. Um, it'll it'll tell you. Yeah. Okay, so you have about a fifty fifty chance. Yeah, whatever. I, I can avoid one yeah. damage, so I'm I'm gambling. I'm a gambling man. Um, who's after me? Sue Storm is after me. Oh shoot! I didn't move. Draw my card. I have so much movements. This is so stupid. <laughs> Oh, more movement! Yes. <laughs> yeah, we should. We we really need to focus on the Yancey Street a little bit too, in terms of like, uh, yep. like 
We got an overflow happening there right now. Well, it depends what, where Doom's going to move to, right? You have two punches, right? All right. Oh, thank you for the raid, Dice Station Zebra. Oh. Were you guys hero clicksing? Dice mastering? Legoing? <laughs> <laughs> they were clicksing from what I could see. They were clicksing. <laughs> um, sorry, whose turn is it? Kim's turn. Mrs. Fantastic. I have two punches to work with. You have two punches plus whatever you can do. Yeah, I have move, move, <laughs> move, and star. You gotta I move think and star would be wise because I think you could star I think we gotta card. deal with this garbage because it's adding too much. I'm gonna waste a punch though. Um. Okay. So wait. If you use the move and the star, you could drop a star here. These stupid, uh, super strong. Yeah. So you'd have access to two punches, a move, and a star. That's actually good. And you... don't forget, you could also use some punches on Doom now. No. No. Oh, no. You can't punch them at all. You can't you punch can't them until we've cleared two yet. of these. Um, yeah, we need to save either five more um, civilians, uh, clear out three more location star like star areas, or uh, knock out six more Doom bots. We have to do okay, two so, of those three. So let's do. I think dropping a star, like I think if you join me, that you can do a lot. You could at least punch out that thug. And then it's a matter of your star. You could either rescue a person, or you could drop a star. Yeah, honestly, both are good. Do we want to rescue people? I think we need to rescue at least one yeah. person here, because we're at overflow, overflow, almost. Yeah, I would say save Yancey Street, move, and then punch out Thug. That actually sounds like a great move in general. Right, so but... you move and star card? Oh, shoot. I... Why can't I remember? I gotta do work. Uh... <laughs> move and star. Okay. Go on the storyline. Okay. So then you're going to save one of these guys. Save a, save a civilian. Move save. to where Thing is. Where Doom is, too. Yep. <laughs> and punch the guy. Punch the thug. That's a good turn. I like that turn. Now, hopefully, Doom moves. <laughs> uh, who goes next? Uh, Johnny Storm. Okay. Let's see. Don't have many, uh, uh, well, I drew a card, but don't got many options because of the wounds I've taken. I'm down to two cards in my hand. So, we have a move and a star available, so I can help clear out Yancey Street a little bit as well while moving towards you guys. So I have two options. I have, um, you know, a move and a punch, so I can move, move, um star punch but there's nothing to punch in that direction so i think well, i'm gonna play uh i'm gonna play my starting card pyrogenesis whatever um pyrogenesis okay yep as long as this card is face up in the storyline i can treat any star as a punch and um i have um and it comes with a move so right now my actions available to me are uh move, move star yeah. So I'm going to. So hear me um, out with the star thing. Like you could do yeah. a, a run and uh, run and gun. Like you could run back yep. here, drop a star, and then get the get the f out. Um. Yeah, that works for me. Well, Although, actually, you could you could actually even bounce back here and take another token. I yeah, I'm not I'm not opposed to that. But we need to get to the thing is Mount Wondergore. Out of all the locations to unlock, it's it's not the best one. Like all the other ones give us better benefits. Like, yeah, I, like I, I would personally I leave this and there... so we just deal with the self-destruct garbage. Yeah. Thank you for the shout out there, Kim. Oh, yeah. Um, my personal thoughts was uh, I'm gonna get myself to Doom a little bit, but I'm gonna go to Yancey Street, uh, save um, um, a civilian, uh, and then either come back to. Uh, no, I'm gonna head over to where everyone else is. There's a party going on. Okay, you're over there. And guess what? Doom is coming to the party. Let's find, ooh, ooh. Let's find out what he does. His next card. Beat the crap out of all the people there first. No, he's moving first. We're good. So he's going to move one clockwise. Sweet. 
then the bam effect is going to go off, so he will damage everyone. We're all safe. No doom bots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're good. But the bam is going to increase it by two. We are currently at... Ten. We're at ten already? Yeah. Because of all oh, the no, over... we're, we're going to ten now. Yes. Okay, sorry, yeah. you scared me. <laughs> like, what? You all fell into my trap. Increase the doom track by the number of crisis tokens. Oh, shit. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> then, okay, okay, sorry guys. Uh, increase the doom track by the number of crisis tokens the heroes have. I have one. I have one. Uh, oh shoot! So we're going up by two. We're at twelve. Cool. Is it gone now? No. Then <laughs> one hero takes one crisis token. Uh, do, we, do we want to spread them out? <laughs> spread them out. I guess. I suppose. Uh, I'll, Giant Storm will take it. Well, that game's not going to last much longer. <laughs> now, the power is in perpetuity. The power token that I have is in perpetuity, or um, is it one use um, and spent? Wait, we had an overflow? <laughs> Boo, doom. Okay, then it's my turn next, right? Did we lose yeah, Jordan? Like, Wait, that doesn't work. Jordan, we lost your volume. <laughs> Hold on one second. Matt. I don't know if he can hear us, that's the thing. Hmm. He lost his he lost his audio. Maybe it's his new headset. Oh, no, no. Jordo, can you hear us? Give us a thumbs up if you can hear. Uh, no. I can hear you, <laughs> yes. I can hear you. Okay, yep. Can you okay. not hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah, yes. no, we can hear okay. you. We I... definitely cannot hear you, though. Jordo. I was like, I was like, we had overflow, and you're like pointing to the thing, and I'm like, wow, I'm so dramatic. He's quiet while he's doing it. It's like point. Apparently my uh, batteries right. died on my, my thing. Well, I'll I have to watch like... that. <laughs> I didn't know that was going to happen. <laughs> so, yeah, we got overflow up there in okay. Latveria. <laughs> you're very dramatic. You're quiet while you're yes. pointing to the card. So I was like, wow, this is very dramatic. Yes. Um, yeah, so ba Latveria is a shitstorm. Yeah. Um, yeah, not only is it a shitstorm, but it's a shitstorm that we can't really deal with because of additional armor. Uh, yeah. Maybe you should go deal with that. I don't know how much I'll be able to deal with that, so it's my turn now. Let's see what I draw. You get a move. You have an extra movement as well, don't forget. Yeah, so I have one movement plus whatever I can use. I drew Super Genius. This turn I could treat all symbols as wilds. Huh. If I use that. That's pretty good. Huh. I'm at the Baxter building. What would what would the best use if I had essentially three wilds? Plus I have a token I can use that yeah. I got last turn, right? Yeah, so you I got a move token, so you basically have four tokens to use total. Four wilds. What would the best use of that be? I feel getting over to additional armor and starting to clear that out. Cause if we can if we can open this area up, like if we can weaken these Doom bots. I'm pretty confident I can jump in there and start swinging. Okay, so you want me to go to the uh, X-Jet thing? I think we have to reduce the additional armor, because okay. none of us can kill, like, we at best we can kill one Doombot. Right? That early star on that mount, wonder whatever, feels like a waste now. Yeah, in oh. retrospect, I think it was, but whatever. Learn as okay. you go. Yeah. Welcome, welcome to our streams where we lose the co-op games. Yeah, pretty much. Okay, so I guess does that sound like the reasonable move to everyone then? So you're going to have four symbols to use, right? Yeah, we... the only thing is I'm going to end up taking damage guaranteed if I do that. Uh, I think, I think we have to take some damage, damage though. I think it's life as a resource. Yeah, okay. Are you, are you okay right. with that? So you're I guess playing genius? I'm playing uh, super genius. Sorry for insulting your, your regular genius. 
We're going to fly over to the X-Jet. Yeah, so spend two to get over to the X-Jet. So that's two of your symbols. Yeah. Oh my goodness, I didn't do a very good job of placing people. And two stars spent in this location. Two stars spent in this location. And then you've got one thing left then, right? Yeah. Oh no, card. that was no, that was four, right? One, two, that three, four. four. Okay. Okay. That was all That's... wilds. That was all the wilds I had. Um over to Thing. Well, let's figure out oh, Thing will draw a card first. Thing is gonna move his cards over to this side of the table. Okay, so I've got a fist, a star, and whatever I want. And I don't have any tokens. Huh. Well, I could actually use a star, and then we can get two stars onto where we are right now. Yeah, and then I could punch the thug. Yeah. Um, I'm curious, uh, like, that's a good idea, but I'm also curious, personally, where's the last civilian we need to save? Like, we need a knife. Oh, they'll show up each time. There's one here, and there's one here right now. Okay. So right now, the last one isn't on the board. That's fair. Okay. So... Are we... Yeah, we need to start punching away. Yeah, I agree with what you were saying, though. Like, we got to clear out some of these problem spots. And I feel... I, I feel we're in some trouble. Any, because you're going to get... Whoever's after me gets a turn. And then Doom is going to go. So if we can get rid of this, yeah. that might help us a little bit. Because I think we're in good shape. We're, we're in crap shape in Latveria, but I think everywhere else is okay. So I'm going to try and clear out Latveria during my turn. So, like, I'm going to do a move punch, and I have a punch token. So if um, Wonder... You, uh, if you're going to get knocked out. Could... You'll get knocked out, though. Um, no, no, it's okay. I uh, Basically, I'm at a point where I only have one card in my hand anyway before the draw. So, like, oh. I'll be knocked out soon anyway. So it's like, I might as well reset my hand anyway. So That's it's a like good a perfect, play. Like... That's a really good play, yeah. then. Yeah, I'm in a similar boat, which is part of why I'm okay being in that spot with the Doom Buck. Because if Bam Effect triggers, and I get knocked out, and I get a resetted hand, I'm fine with that. Well, the Bam Effect yeah, will well. trigger. Don't worry. <laughs> 100 okay, so, yeah. will trigger. Um, so then I'm going to do the star play then. So I'm going to play the star. We're going to fly over to this side of the board. And we are going to use two stars on the thingy. So we're going to try to get rid of this. And what was my other thing? A punch. So we're going to punch this thug right in the face. Wow, it's clobber in time. It's totally clobber in time. <laughs> Please let me know if I drop out again, because I didn't even see the light on my mic. I'll go out. I feel really bad there. Um, Who's after hey. me? Invisible woman. Yep. Okay. I was going to... Well, I, I will I will request uh, to to Special K or uh, Wonder Woman uh, if you could have a punch somewhere in there I would highly appreciate that. But Actually, play as you will. Otherwise, I guess what cards do you have? I have a star, a punch, and one card. A, move, a star and a, a punch and one card. Uh, I can also use stars as punches, so that that's actually like a like a double punch for me for next turn. A, a star and a punch for you. Oh, actually, because you're going to get my star. Yeah. You could rescue the dude, drop the other yeah. star, open up whatever yeah. this is, your punch is wasted. Yep. Yeah. But I'm in Doom spot, aren't I? No. No, oh, you're in is Mirror he? Island. So, Doom is here. Oh. Here. So That'll I'm be the Doom I'm pointer. Whatever that, is that a good effect at the bottom of that, or a bad effect? Uh, I think these ones are all good. Okay. Yeah, it's white. Alright, I'll play my Star Fist. Starfist. Okay. And we'll save the civilian, put the last star on there, and, and punch thing. And punch thing? That was rude. <laughs> <laughs> you can take okay. it. My hand will Yeah, you can take it. You can take it. Um, end of turn. I can't read this, so pardon me. Uh, another hero in this or an adjacent location may draw a card. Oh. Who wants so to? that's the end of your thing. turn. Um, well, I'm pro like you're hmm. gonna get knocked out, so it's probably not good. Yeah, I was gonna say you should take it. Uh, thing. Uh, yeah, cause I'll go. F 
Yeah, I'm I'm in good health. So do you want me to take it or do you want to take it, Kim? You should take. Oh, this or, is another yeah. hero, so I assume not me. Oh, another hero. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Because Johnny's about to die anyway, right? Yep. Yep. Next turn, probably. Okay. But it's Doombot turn now. It's Doom's turn first. Okay, so I took a card. Um. Okay. Hey, we're doing all right. <laughs> we're doing all right. We're like halfway through the story. Um. Okay. He does not move at all. Uh, then the bam effect goes off. So we increase it by two. We're currently on 13. We're at 15. Uh, you rule the day you ever heard of the name Victor Von Doom. One hero takes a crisis token. Me. Uh, who doesn't have one? I, I don't. Okay. Congratulations. But uh, I should yeah, point out, we're all um, in this together. The effect, I'm about to get KO'd, and that's going to trigger another BAM effect. That's okay. Uh, so we overflow on Latveria. So we increase the Doom track by one more, which puts us at 16. Oh, we're so dead. We're, we're going to go to 18 because of me getting uh, KO'd. Um, oh, does that raise the track if we get KO'd? Yeah. Oh, then maybe I should have taken the card if we could reverse that. Yeah, you can take the... Oh, take the Crisis Token. Uh, not the Crisis Token, oh, I mean the card from earlier. Um, anyway. Because he's oh, when he gets KO'd, you're gonna... Yeah. No, if I, I, if, if, I, I have the, if I have the extra card, maybe I can stave away the KOing. Like, it's not guaranteed the KOing. Here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna get KO'd because of the BAM effect. And then... This is gonna trigger another BAM effect, which is gonna KO Johnny. Which is gonna end the game. The BAM effect next turn, though, right? Because his BAM effect already just went off. No, I get I get KO'd because of uh, there was a Doombot where I am. It immediately KOs me, therefore it gets another BAM effect going. How does the other Doombot give you damage? Sorry. Um, the, look, read BAM. Yeah. Oh, forgot about that, the Doombots. Okay. Uh... Yeah, there was already oh. a Doombot there. That's right. That one yeah. will deal damage. That's what I was saying. I was guaranteed to get KO'd. Oh. Well, that's... Yeah, so the card needs to go to Johnny. Okay. Or the game just ends. Okay, so I'll put that card back. Oh. Okay. That so means yeah. we take damage, too. Oh, uh, it. Yeah, because the his BAM effect will go on now. Ooh. No, wait a minute. Okay, no, no, yeah. no, 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 no. These guys haven't been added yet. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Gotcha. They're, okay. The BAM effect clears first. So he'll take the Doom Bottle deal damage. So you said you're dead now, right? Yeah. Okay. So you're dead. Then the Doom Bots get added and the overflow happens. Um, and then the BAM effect goes off again, right? Because he died. I believe that's what happens. Oh yeah, boy. so when he got KO'd, he discards... KO'd if you discard the last card in your hand. Wait, Which how you... did he get KO'd? Wait a minute. What if uh, you took the card instead of Johnny? You can't. It has to be in the same location. Oh, same location. Game. God damn it. Wait, wait, wait. How did, how did Fantastic Four die? You only had one card in your hand? That's right. Okay. Yeah, but why are you discarding it? He's taking damage. Uh, and when so he discards the last card in your hand, you're 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 Yeah, so later discarded. now you gotta activate Bam again. So would that trigger so immediately it's discard, when he's not put Tuck under your deck? Uh Yes. Discard one card from your hand. So it's... Oh, no. Okay. Put it on the bottom... Hang on. Put it on the bottom of your deck. So, yeah, it's still okay, there. Okay, so that's not so bad. Yeah. So it says activate villain's BAM because he died. So you have to activate it again. Okay, but did his BAM effect trigger... Like, did the Doombots get dropped? Or does his KO interrupt? No, as soon as you... Because this is going to change things. Okay, so these two, do these two Doombots... Yes. Drop after the BAM effect. The, uh, from the card. From Doom's card. Okay, so you do During Doom's the BAM first. effect, right. Reed Richards died. 
So deal one damage to each hero's doom's location plus one equal is with any doom bot. Right. So that doom and bot sitting in his so spot killed him. Yes, but what came first in the card? It's move. It doesn't matter how many doom bots are there. He just dies. No, 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 no. But if the bam effect goes off again, are these two doom bots out? Yes, because you have to, that's so doom card. finishes his card first. Yes, you have to finish. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So his card's finishing. Yes. And Johnny took the card. Yes. Okay. But so now the died. BAM effect's going to go off again. We're at 18. Don't worry, guys. We got this. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and then the Doombot's going to deal one damage. However, I can ignore one. It's the villain's turn, so I can ignore a damage. So I'm going to have to get rid of a card. And it sounds like me as well. Uh, yeah, I'm. I'm going. I'm being knocked out on my turn, right? Basically. So how much can you do? Oh shoot! I can do enough, and then I'm out. Uh, so, um, so is my there, turn. You're you're gonna have yeah. a star and a punch. Like, is there any way you can get over to Reed Space yeah. and and save that? Like, um, Reed Space. Take no. What I'm gonna do is. Um, I mean, uh, I, I have a, you said I have a, no, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to punch out Latveria. Um, I have a move and a punch and then, uh, a star and a punch and I can use stars as punches. So I'm going to move once, clear out three doom bots. So you got uh, a additional armor still. Yeah. The additional armor still in effect is the problem. Uh, I also have the token so I can use that. And so I can take out two doom bots. So you're using, sorry, the move and the. Punch. I have a yeah move punch card for myself, okay. and then and like so. Um, oh. What do you want? What uh, are you doing? Well, so yeah, uh, I, I'm moving to Latveria. I'm using my punch token from earlier. I can use stars as punches, so I have four punches total to knock out two doom bots. That's not a bad play, except that you, you know, if you do that, you're knocked out and we lose. Uh, oh well, I was I was gonna be knocked out anyway. Like literally, like th this was my last action before knockout. Oh yeah, we do lose though. Is there any way to not lose? Um, uh, no. Not move? Literally, uh, because of like the damage uh, the Doombot did from the second bam, uh, the card I had drawn is like the last action I had. Well, when you Unless do the you card... can you move to get to the Baxter building and you can draw another card. Um oh yeah, that, that works too. So um, let's put there. those guys back. Let's give you your token back. Okay. And so... do you got so we'll put you back here. Do you have a better card to play then? I do not. It's the it's literally the only card in my hand. So, so it's, you... um and you can use okay. what's your ability? Wait, 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 wait. How many cards did you have before you drew the card from my ability? One. Um uh, oh, so I, did I get the card from your ability? Yeah, one. So then. Oh, did you draw your uh, card okay, at the so beginning of your turn? Uh, no, no. I have yeah. Uh, so I have a second card. Yes. Sorry, it was. Uh, yeah. So, so I have a. Card would have made you two. Then on your turn, you would have drawn a card. Okay. Yes, that's fair. Uh, okay. Right, Actually, very head, nice. Then you got uh, a card from me. Then you drew a card on your turn. Perfect. Yep. So I have two currently. Um, right. Uh, and actually, yes, I, I drew a double a double um, wild, so I'm gonna play that. Um, move two to the Baxter building. Uh, well, no, before I move there, I'm gonna use uh, the punch token and the and the punch from Sue to remove the um, Doombot. Uh, Doombot. Okay. Um, actually, the, is oh yeah, there is additional armor there. Um, yeah. What's that purple token in the core? Oh, uh, and uh, as I'm oh, moving that's done. to get that's, to... that's done already. Sorry, we got two of these now. Forgot about okay. that. Okay. So, um, so then as I'm moving to the Baxter building, I'm going to use the star to save the uh, the uh, civilian. Civilian. Okay, so that Let's pick him and up then... on the way. Go here. End your turn. Probably draw a card would be my guess, right? <laughs> Yep, draw a card, <laughs> and I'm doing much better now. Yes, okay. Now you have two cards in your hand. Yeah, I do. Yes, I do. Thank okay, you. so, so I will... my turn. Uh, who's after Johnny? Yeah, it is me. Did I miss a turn? No, I didn't. Never mind. 
Yeah. Okay. So you're so, live. Yeah. You pick so up I pick four cards. Cards. And I oh, do I get four cards plus the card of my turn, or or does that include uh, just next turn? Stand back up and draw four cards. I assume you should only have four cards. I don't think you get more than four without okay. some other ability. So I'm I'm going to say four. Uh, yeah. That's oh wait, no, not... wait, wait, wait. Mike's chimed in. He draws a card at the start of his turn, so he has five cards then. Oh, he's okay, about... that's no, no, not no, bad. No no, no. no, no, he's talking about Nerdy Anna's turn. Oh, never mind. You got four cards until four Mike cards? until Mike chimes in to say that <laughs> we're wrong. No, he he put that when we were talking about Nerdy Anna's card. That don't forget to draw it. Don't forget to draw a card oh. turn. That's what he's yep, yep. I I, oh. I won't forget. Hang I'm on, Mister Fantastic. Why do you have to be on this side? Okay. Yeah, so what do I have access to that Johnny two, gave me here? Two wilds. Two wilds. That's great. And I don't have anything, any other tokens left over. That's right. Uh Oh, I had a movement there. You used it already? I don't remember. Yeah, I did. Okay. Okay. To get over there, actually. Uh, I can clear out the additional armor. We need and, that, because that's the only way we can deal with Latveria. Yeah, and do some punchy punch. Which was Liberia, the one with a bunch of people in it? The one with five Doombots that we can't do shit with. Okay, um, actually, I can do some things with it. So I'm going to use the... Uh, let's see. Do I have... Sorry, just checking the cards I have. It's, it's annoying when I have them written down as numbers. Yep. <sighs> I could use teamwork. Oh, wait a minute. He can't do anything, I thought. No, he's fine. Next turn, stand back up and draw four cards. Is that the turn, then? You just draw four cards? No. It, I would assume not, because I'm already. Uh, it's already Maybe a punishment that a we turn? moved the Doom, box, the doom counter up. by two. Maybe his turn is standing up and taking four cards. Let's is it? KO where does it say that? I, 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 don't, I know nothing about this game, so you're going to have to just tell me where. No, no, I'm looking up the rules. Yeah, we're checking it up. The, it's not in the summary, so I think you... Like, yeah, you've already been punished, right? I don't think he would get a turn, but... KO. I just saw the message. You lost my audio. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's how much I'm looking at Discord. I th you can't be miss a whole turn. KO. At the... If a hero discards the last number on their melee KO, late number, blah, blah, blah. Then immediately resolve the bam. We did that. Uh, at the start of the KO next turn, their piece is placed back upright during the draw card step. The player draws up to four cards from their deck. That's it. Yeah, so go. If Play your the cards. If hero plays their last card during their turn, they, they get to perform their full turn before being KO'd. So. Yeah, you're fine. Do the rest of your turn then. All right. Um, let's see. So I have two wilds. I would want to add to that for sure. Definitely. Okay. So currently on lo on the location where I am, there's a bunch of people to punch. If if we can get rid of that armor, those doom bots are way easier to kill. Yeah, and that's of course what one thing I am going to do. I'm just trying to figure out which card to play because I don't I don't have the best setup. If you've got anything with movement, that would help me because I'm kind of really crap right now. Like, I've got a double yeah. punch that if I can get into Latveria, I can start swinging. Okay, I have one thing that has movement and a punch, so I think what I'm going to use, I'm going to use that card then, the movement and punch. Okay. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to use one of the wilds as a star to clear out the additional armor. Okay, let me read what the bonus is so you know before you do anything else. End of turn, you may move to any other location. That's yeah, but I have to use a move token now. Yeah, I know. Because I'm giving you a movement. So you've got, what do you got access? you got one other symbol and a movement and a punch. Would you would you allow me to take back the card I played? Because I didn't realize that was the bonus. But you need the movement though, right? I, uh. I have like, I have I have a single movement and that's all I can do. Depending on what my top card is. So right now, I can't really do much. Okay, so I'm just going to keep using that card then. Okay, so I have one movement left, one wild, and one and one punch, correct? Right, but now these Doombots are 
easy pickings. Um, yeah. You might as well clear Mount Wandergore just because, like, to get the location token. Or should we focus now on just I would, beating I up would personally... Now? This one's only a problem for defeating Doombots. Right now, Doombots aren't a problem here. Yep, yep. We should be at three. We should be at three on that purple card. Did you just finish that one? Oh, yeah. Anyway, we're I, at three. You're correct. Sorry. Yep. Well, well I guess that's the other team, question. Yeah. The only problem is as soon as we as soon as we do that, Doom's gonna activate every two cards. So we're probably gonna lose. Cause we're at Yeah, we lose as soon as Doom goes. But so we do. do anything. Okay, well what I'm gonna do then, I've got I'm I'm essentially gonna have two punches and a move. So and I have to use the move. So I'm gonna punch a, uh, one of the Doom bots on the X Jet. And the one on Mount Wondergore, and I'm gonna move to Mount Wondergore. Is there any way you can you can clear out Mount Wondergore? Well, from where you are? You mean actually Cause I'm trying to think of this like if we can No, it doesn't matter. There's we can't no. win. I can't do that. I'm sorry. Yeah, uh, no. I can't clear both locations. I, I have to clear one or the other. Yeah. No, but if so. he moves to the other location and takes out that guy, at least he won't be... There won't be a there. No, but he'll take damage. Why? Because of the self-destruct... Pro Actually, you're going to take damage... Is it adjacent locations? Yeah, you'll take damage for killing the Doombots where you are, too. No, no, no. I can't... Because of plasticity... I can do it in an order where it doesn't hurt me. Because it's only in its location. So in the location of the Doombot I kill, right? Uh, when a Doombot is defeated in this or adjacent locations, I think it doesn't matter. Anything beside this no, gets the self-destruct read, protocol. Read it carefully. The self-destruct will damage to any anyone that's in the Doombot's in location, location as it gets attacked. Oh! So yeah, I, I can read. Punch, I punched the one in Mount Wondergore first. With your plasticity. That, Yes, using plasticity. Okay. Oh, but then I... Okay, so I can't do it twice. So I would punch out the thug instead on the X-Jet and then move to Mount Wondergore. Okay. No, no, no. I No, no. I would do it in order. My order would be... Okay. Punch out, thug, punch out thug. Okay. Okay. Then use plasticity to punch out Mount Wondergore. Mount Wondergore. Then okay. move to Mount Wondergore. Then move to Mount Okay. Makes sense? Makes sense, but we're still going to lose. <laughs> Probably. But still, like that's the best move I got. Sorry. Okay, so I have a move and a punch. Oh, hang on. You wanted a move. I know, I know. Unfortunately, there's no civilians. Oops. Hold I know. Way. Um. Well, can how do we? Other one and punch, punch. No. I can. I can do a double punch. Like I can. I can hammer things, but it really doesn't matter because Doom activates and his bam is going to go off, unless there's unless we're lucky and the card doesn't have it. Yeah, we've been having BAM every single time. So, I, I guess that's the only choice, right? I can run in there with the movement here. I'll have three punches. I can clear out three Doom bots. Take two damage. Oh, well. Do you have cards to take damage? I got four cards in my hand. I haven't taken any damage. Yeah, we may not get a BAM unless all his cards have BAM. Just can't, can't okay, be. well, that's pretty much the only thing I do. I'm going to do the double punch. So I'm going to use Mr. Fantastic's movement to go to Latveria. I'm going to punch out three of these guys. That's going to clear this out. Where's the Doombot collection? There we go. And these guys go in this one. That is open. We did that. Congratulations. Um, you don't get any bonus for killing extra ones, right? Nothing. <laughs> it's something to give us, give us, reduce the Doom give track by one. Is there anything? No, I don't think oh, so. Okay. Over excessing? I don't think so. Okay, uh, that's the end of my turn. What happens to me? You must take one damage for each 
Doombot. So I take two damage. That's a shit card, and that's a good card, but whatever. Uh, you know what? On the off chance we survive. <laughs> we'll keep that card. Uh, Doom! Oh, please don't be something. Please be good. Please be good to us, Doom. Please be good. <laughs> okay. If it says bam, we lose. <laughs> we lose, but where do we lose? Doom moves four. <laughs> One, two, three. Four. He's on Yancey Street again. Uh, bam. That's where we lose. Congratulations. You all fell into my trap. Increase the Doom track by the number of crisis tokens. Well, yeah, we oh, super no, lost. No, it ended where it began. Dr. Doom is closed. Secular all along. That, okay. That, even for a co-op game, that is really hard. No, I think we could do it if we if we play it again now that we're familiar with the game. I think we could do it. The problem is we were a little too unfocused um, in the sense that we went for all three objectives. We almost completed all three of them, which means and like plus, you know, like my wasted star in Mount Wonder Gore. That's a lot of wasted actions. We need to like hyper focus on like two of them. Yeah. And like I wish we could have focused on the civilians, but the the issue with them is that they're not like all present in the beginning. So no, like his um, card, his cards add them. Um, oh, but yeah, we have to, that was that was turtle like, civilians into doom bots. There's some civilians, 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 civilians. No, well, somebody didn't shuffle properly, is what you're saying. I shuffled perfectly. Thank you very so much. All those have. No wonder we lost. Um, My goodness. Here, in, in, in celebration, the Fantastic Four has fallen. To doom. <laughs> did all his cards have BAM on them? Oh, oh, let me check that. I'm pretty sure they do. That's a good question. Oh, no, Although, that yeah, one doesn't. Did... Two? There was two cards that didn't. Oh. Uh, <laughs> okay. But yeah, if we were ever to play again, I highly just say, like, we go for that uh, armor immediately. And then, well, that's just you That's know... doom. Like, each villain has their own thing, right? Um, yeah, and like that armor uh, really like slogs us down. Scroll? It like wastes a lot of actions. Yeah, so super scroll. Um, his bam effect. He doesn't have a doom track. Um, deal one damage to each hero in super scroll's location. Then resolve the symbols at the bottom of the last hero card. So he steals your abilities. That's pretty super scrolly. Yeah, <laughs> I love it. Pretty thematic. Uh, he can't be damaged as long as there's Christ tokens. Yeah, so they all all the villains have different rules. Um, and different uh, things. We didn't even touch Doom. Oh my god. I know, we didn't even get no. there. His stupid bots, man. His bots we were a mess. Yeah, well, the whole additional armor thing that, so. was... Well, I, like... think, I think maybe we should have focused on, like, the additional armor. Realizing how damaging that actually is. It really is. It's because it's like at first you're like, huh, who cares? But it's just like it really does eat up all your actions. Yeah. This well, is a fun game, Ra. This is this is a it's a good one. I like it. Even though we've brutally lost twice now. <laughs> Not even close. We don't win. We should know this. This is the non winning DM. <laughs> <laughs> we hardly win our games. Once you start hitting the bad guy, yeah, like we were close. Like we were one civilian away, one thing yeah. away. And I think you're right. I think we were just too un like too willy nilly all over the place. And hey, that could be <laughs> learning. We, we show you the failure of games. Exactly how not to play the game. <laughs> but it was fun. It was fun. I like it. I it's... agree. This is great. And again, it's it's like you, you, you want to talk to each other saying, okay, well, I can do this next turn if you can give me this. So you're, you're definitely working as a team. And we yeah, never got to the fa honestly... we, we never got to the Fantastic Four part either. Oh yeah, with the teamwork that like uh, flipped uh, the the tokens for us. Yeah, yeah. I feel yeah. like that was a um, a bit of a detriment that, that those weren't played too. Because like uh, I didn't um, I I didn't get that card till the end. Is it possible that it simply is harder because there were more of us? I don't know. Well, the Doom gets more life, but other than that, everything else is the same. So he would still he still activates every three cards, no matter how many players. 
So you're still getting the same number of turns, the same type of thing is going. So I, I think the harder part is just he's stronger. You have to use your specials to the best, yeah. Also, like, it just, when it comes to co-op games, I'm just very impressed with this. Uh, this is my first time playing Marvel United, and I played Marvel Legendary, and it's like, all right, it's okay. Um, I played, like, uh, well, and, and, like, there's a lot of, like, Marvel games that, like, just have the, the name and is the good fun, like, you know, it isn't actually fun when you get to it, but, um, you know, uh, the, uh, but this one, it's like, I love... Um, the visual representation of building on the story, um, like you said, like the the collaboration that it that it invokes, um, and it's simple, but there's a lot of meat to it, you know. So uh, I feel like this could be taught very easily. Yeah, it's it's when you first look at the game, you think it is like a a kiddie game, kinda like just not oh you're matching. Oh, this is not a kid game, man. Not a kid yeah. game at all. Like, there's Whoa. a lot of there's a lot of strategy to this game. Do do rules victorious, yeah. and if if canon serves, then that means the the world will now be a utopia. <laughs> so we helped, is what I'm hearing. Right. Yeah, <laughs> we saved humanity, probably. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> um, the other thing I'm going to say about this game, and I don't know if, how well you can appreciate on stream, is the miniatures are amazing in this game. Like like the detail. What's that? It's Simon. It's Simon. I mean, well, there's a chicken. Oh, chick I still I still can't hear the chicken yet. I don't have any of the uh, other guys, the unpainted ones, how they come. Um, but I do kind of like the cheesy artwork. Yes. Uh, although I will say that the Mr. Fantastic makes me a little uncomfortable. The Mr. Fantastic I don't like. It's it's actually a really right. bad mold compared to he all the other like ones. He looks like, um, oh my god, what's his name? Flanders wearing the ski suit. It's like, it looks like I'm wearing nothing at all. Oh my god, he is too. Look, <laughs> sexy, sexy Flanders right there. Right? <laughs> <laughs>